tong misconception na to, very controversial, di ba? What do you say about people na flight attendants is all about serving chicken or beef? Chicken or beef? Yeah. Yes. Stress level 1,000. Yes. And you have to see their dedication. Then lalabas lahat. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have a very special guest. Here with us is Sir Mons. He is Hello the person everyone. behind Fly High Manila. Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Yes. Thank today, you for having me. Yes. Thank you for having me here. So glad to have you here. Um, today we're going to talk about the different misconceptions about being a flight attendant and no better person to talk to me about this than Sir Mons. He is always there, sa lahat ng issue. Yeah, we get to observe trainings. We get, we go inside. We have, uh, we work closely with the airlines. We're able to give it these training. And I'm sure on your page, maraming nagkakomment. Yes, yes. And our network of flight attendants and trainers and managers of the from the airline. So okay, let's get right into it, guys. Okay, so ito, uh, sir. Anong masasabi mo sa mga sinasabi ng mga tao na flight attendants? Ay ganda lang yan. Ganda lang yung puhunan sa pagiging flight attendant. It's all about looks. Yung number one misconception. Okay, absolutely no. It's not only about looks. To be a flight attendant, um, you take on different roles. You're a safety professional. You're a uh, safety professional, meaning in case na nagkaroon ng problem ang airplane, ng aircraft, in case it encounters a problem, especially at 40,000 feet, your priority are the lives of your passengers. And since you deal with lives, since you deal with lives, uh, I think that's a, a very, very, very important. That alone, that, that alone speaks, speaks of it all. And I know it's very detailed. Um, pangalawa, well, of course, it's a service. Um, you have to make your passengers feel um, uh, welcome, comfortable. Because, you know, flying is not really comfortable. For, uh, especially if you are the type who have, uh, what's it called here? Na may, may phobia sa high. You know, and you look down, yes, and you look down 40,000 feet. It, it, it's, it's, you know, it's, it may not be comfortable for some. And flight attendants are there to, you know, to ensure that your flight is comfortable. You get there from, you get from point A to one being one piece. Thank you so much, sir. How about naman this, I know, misconception? Um, some people, they will think na being a flight attendant, Ano, you, parang you don't really have to be smart to be a flight attendant. Uh, no, 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 definitely not. Um, first of all, ang training ng flight attendant, ang training, training alone is three months, but it's just like one whole college term compressed into two to three months. So, I mean, CECOM or the Cabin Crew Operations Manual, it's around that thick already. It's around that thick and two volumes. Two volumes, two volumes, and each of those pages are studied. Each of those pages are studied, and not only that, you have tests, you have exams every day. Um, Ninety percent passing. You fail three times, you're out of training. Depending on the airline, actually, palis mas ninety-five percent passing. So yes. you can like have only one mistake the test nyo. <laughs> and it and it requires a lot of decision making. You need to be a good decision maker, especially if you are like the lead crew. Um, you have to maintain your emotions. You should have high emotional quotient um, because you have to separate your emotions from what's really happening, especially during an emergency situation. You can't allow your emotions to take over. You have to make decisions. You have to know what to do in a snap of a finger. Pam, ganon. Tapat alam mo yon. So definitely, it's not for it's not for the no-brainer. No way. You need a lot of brains to be a habit group. And I would like to add into that, actually, before each flight, there is like an oral exam happening in yes. the briefing room with the flight attendants and the captains. And if you're not able to answer the safety questions, you cannot fly with the crew. <laughs> ba bump off ka nila sa flight. Exactly. Diba? So, ayun. So, I'm sure maraming nagtatanong yan sa page mo usually about, ah, pag FA, ganito, ganyan. Uh, no? Hindi eh. You know, sa totoo lang, I'm, just, I'm surprised. That these, that these people who, who says na, oh, madaling maging FA are those who've never experienced. But I tell you, ask every person, ask every flight attendant, or even those who, try, who went through training on how it is to become a cabin crew, they'll all tell you, this, they'll all tell you one thing, mahirap. 
Eh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure. Oh, pero siyempre, iba pa rin pag nagaling sa ibang tao. <laughs> diba? Kami, when we observe, when we observe yung training, iba eh. One small mistake, ulit ka sa lahat. Back square one ka eh. So now let's move on to the next misconception. What can you say naman Sir Mons about those people who say na ah the work of flight attendant it's so easy, madali lang 'yan, palipad-lipad lang, paganda-ganda lang. Ayun. Um I what I would say about that is it's easy in your eyes, but when you're actually doing it hindi, parang iceberg lang 'yan eh. Ang iceberg mo ang maliit sa ibabaw, but underneath it ang laki noon. And tandaan mo, icebergs what brought down an, an iceberg, the bottom, the bottom of the iceberg, is what brought down the Titanic. Yes. Maybe it's because we'll make it look easy, that's why. Yes, because what you see with your naked eye, what, what passengers see, is serving, doing safety demo, uh, and, and for some airlines, for some airlines, um, what do you call this? Um, Duty-free. Duty-free eye tests for some airlines. So, they just don't see kung ano yung talaga yung, ano, yung value ng ng FA. But if you're gonna look at it, it's hard. It's hard. Especially during an emergency situation. We wouldn't want that to happen. But if you want to see a flight attendant shine, um, knock on wood, ask for an emergency situation. Diyan yung may kita lahat. Yes, totoo yan. Oh my God. And we wouldn't want that because lives are at stake. Yes. Stress level 1,000. Yes. And you have to see their dedication. Then lalabas lahat. Kasi nakasalala yung buhay ng pasahero sa mga FAs na yes. they're counting on you to do your job, which is to save them, to evacuate them. In less than 90 seconds. Yeah, in a dangerous situation. So, mahirap talaga magsabi lang na, ah, dali lang. No, it's hard. It's hard. Even even in service, may time, proper timing yun. Even in serving your passengers, there's a proper timing, there's a proper with doing every, everything. Everything's so calculated, I noticed. At saka try nyong mag-push ng trolley, trolley cart in 4,000 4, feet above the air. <laughs> Masyadong mabigat siya, guys. Yes, yes. Oo, it's not easy talaga. So, ito naman. Uh, most con misconception na nakikita ko mga comments sa videos ko, they will say that to become a flight attendant, it's easy. Especially in the training. Ano ba? Ito train ka nilang mag-makeup. <laughs> it's a train ka nilang maglakad. <laughs> Paano maging maganda? Oh, sige. So, yun. What can you, what's your thought naman about that? Okay. If you think jumping into a 10-foot deep pool and staying afloat for 30 minutes is, is already, is easy. It's easy. Staying afloat, ha? No life vest. Staying afloat to 30 minutes. Well, just maybe may be you are correct but wait there's more add exams every day passing rate 90 percent for three months add the drills jump and slide add um add you um your drills add your first aid training first aid training na konting mali uulit ka talaga add firefighting at the door training. Uh, pinakamahirap na subject, dangerous goods. Dangerous goods, especially the exams. The exams, I would say the exams every day, now you have to keep a passing grade of 90%. And reading that CCOM, that, that thing. Memorizing, memorizing, understanding. Yeah, memorizing, understanding that. If you sum that, that, those things all up, and you think it's easy, well, maybe you're correct. You may be a star cabin crew. <laughs> It's not easy at all, guys. Sorry, sorry. If you ask nga actually mga flight attendants, they would say na yung training ng pagiging FA is so much harder than my thesis. Exactly. <laughs> I've like, never worked this hard in my college years. <laughs> in a short span of time. Sabi nga namin eh. And according to also many crew members we've talked to, feeling nila they would all have become college scholars if they only applied the same study habits they did yeah, nung college diyan sa ano you mean alin? the same study habits they had during crew training if they applied it nung college lahat sila sure ball scholar yon sabi nila sure sure ball yon sure ball imagine everyday dapat 90 diba college 
okay na tayo. Uy, 80%. Pasado. Ito, 90%. Three lifelines, you're off. Oh my God, yeah. And not to mention, if you're late, you're also out of the program. Yeah. You can never be late in any of your training. So I always be you. on time. Never, ever, ever think that training is easy. Never, ever. Prepare for it, I suggest. Okay, ito naman. Last but not the least, uh, Sir Mons, um, tong misconception na to, very controversial, di ba? What do you say about people na flight attendants is all about serving chicken or beef? Chicken or beef? Yeah. Ang cabin crew, they have to evacuate every passenger within 90 seconds. Plus, they are the last to leave. Yes. They are the last to leave an aircraft. So, isipin mo yung situation. Um, there's fire. There's fire inside the cabin. It's dark. Cabin crew are the ones telling you, get out, get out, get out. Hey, you, get off the. Hey, you, get out. Hey, here, over here, get on. But deep in them, they're, they're facing great danger. It's not about chicken or beef. It's, it, uh, being a flight attendant, you, have, you play different roles. You play the role of a, of a safety professional, you play the role of a nurse. You play the role of a police because you have to implement rules. You have to play the role of a security guard because you have to guard the cockpit. You have to guard the cockpit. You play the role of a server because, of course, you have to ensure that your passengers are comfortable. Yes, you'll be serving them um, their, their meals. So, yes, you'll be playing that role. And you have to play the role of a friend, of a best friend, of like a brother or sister especially to your passengers who are traveling alone because then again every passenger has a different story and every flight attendant are trained to inculcate all those roles into one yes very well said sir Mons. thank you so much for sharing thank with you us also, your thank insight you. how long is flight fly high manila already been running so we started out 2013 uh we started out as a pure fa fa event company then we decided 2015, no, early 2016 to go multimedia, which um, is working for both, uh, no, for us and for also Kabi because because we're able to create better awareness. We're able to help more aspirants. We're able to, you know, deliver message. We are able to give them advice, tips on how to be Kabi crew. And not to say that we're able to educate more people about the job of flight attendants and um, we're able to uplift and make every fighter that feel good for their for being who they are. Yes. If you're not familiar with Fly High Manila, yung mga pictures na nakikita niyo sa social media with different flight attendants, especially and Filipino. Yeah, and then my blue logo sa lalim, Fly High Manila. Yes. Ay nako, yun yun, yung Fly High Manila. If you're a flight attendant and you got featured in their page, ay nako, feeling mo sikat na sikat na. <laughs> <laughs> yun talaga yung na-feel ko, sorry, yun na-feature ako dun sa, sa page ninyo. So, ayun. So, would you like to invite everyone to to follow your page or your, your yes, channel? Yes. Uh, um, go ahead. Okay. Please follow us on our YouTube channel, uh, Fly High Manila TV. Uh, please also like our Facebook page and Instagram. Our Facebook is Fly High Manila. Our Instagram is Fly High Manila also. And we have our website. Uh, it's a crewlife.com. It's a crewlife.com. Please do follow it for you aspirants. We have a lot of tips on how to be a flight attendant there, information. You'll greatly need it. Yes. So thank you everyone for staying with us. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and Sir Mon's channel. And we will fly, fly with you soon. soon. Bye. <laughs>